Shalom, it's your boy Big Truck, here again, part two of Men Conversation. So, I'm not going to talk as much, but I'm going to let them hit it. Without further ado, let's spit fire. Can I just, can I just kind of talk about, um, I, I feel like, yeah. you know, with Yvette and I, right, there was no limit like it just became i will and dot 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 my wife amazing right i didn't know she was going through what she was going through right but she said i'm not doing well and she said um i have to leave and I, if you would have told me I, I would be married and my wife would leave me i would have never believed you right wow. um but she had to leave and go away for like a solitude, like a silent retreat mm -hmm. and experience God in a way that she was not experiencing. It left me with four kids and a business and the fresh death of my sister and the death of my cousin right during the midst of that. Um, and a part of me that felt abandoned um, and was like angry because I was like, why am I feeling all of this alone? I realized that through, through counsel was that my wife had been operating at 40%, right? And I needed my wife at 100. Up on the single parents. When there is no man in the vicinity, you can expect there to be chaos and confusion in the environment. I receive what the brother's saying. In a marriage, you're going to have challenges. What do you do when life happens, when life throws you a curveball in your marriage? And a series of things happen back to back to back to back. What do you do? Do you A, Stand with your partner. Bay, let's pray first. Whatever Elohim wants us to do, we're going to do. But we're going to stand together through this. Or B, leave and abandon the marriage or relationship. Because it's too much. Most don't know what to do in the midst of a storm. But they do the next thing that they are familiar with. Run. you need to be alone so that Elohim can talk to you so that you can hear his voice so there, there's a lot of things going on there let's continue and so I just want to bring that to the table as we talk about lost love whether that be in fail relationships or in marriage right now or in relationship right now it's like sometimes it ain't it don't feel right you know? Yeah. So can we discuss that? Rodney. I'll go. <laughs> um, so I've been in two very long-term relationships. Well, long-term relationships. One of four years and one of seven years. And um, the relationship that I was in with, for seven years with the most amazing, beautiful, kind, warm-blooded woman that I've ever known. Um, to this day, she is still my absolute best friend. When I go through joyous moments, she's the first person I want to call. When I go through hardships, she's the first person that I want to call. Um, but I decided to end the relationship maybe like four years ago uh, because I was not in a place of being able to reciprocate the love that she was giving me. And it's a tough thing <clears throat> for men to, like, it's not you, it's me, right? You can't, you can't really say that. But at the end of the day, like, 
I can't give you what you're looking for right now because I don't know who the fuck I am. I do not know who I am right now. And you're looking at me for these answers and for these definitive actions. And I can't give them to you because I'm not even definitively acting on my own behalf right now. Between a husband and a wife who commit themselves to function in unison under divine authority. I respect that brother for his accountability. What he just said, what he just said is hard for a large number of modern women to do. Accountability. Even though it's, hey, you know, I can't even say he's wrong. He was mad enough to say, look, this is why I can't continue this because I'm not right within myself. I don't know who I am. I need to find out who I am. On the other side of that coin, it can also be said, then why did you get into a relationship? However, we don't know the understanding that he had with that woman at that time. But one thing that I can say is I respect him for his honesty and it's obvious that they're still friends. But it's called accountability. He took accountability for his actions, for his behavior. I don't know what I'm doing in life and I can't steer you wrong because I don't know where I'm going. And it's real, man. when I tell you the pain that I felt trying to, and I didn't have the words then that I have now, I'm trying to articulate this to this woman who I had the highest level of affinity and passion for and I'm looking at her in real time and I feel her heart breaking, I feel her soul depleting, Ugh. sent me into a, a further spiral. Because I felt it. And I still feel it to this day. I still replay that conversation. I still see her face. I still feel her energy literally go from here all the way to the floor. And what it has done for me the last, you know, four, four years and change is it has made me never want to invest myself in another relationship for the sake of not wanting to put somebody else through that experience. I recognize that I am painful to love. And that is the most painful thing that I, I think that I've... I could experience and over the course of the last four years acclimating to LA thinking to myself that I'm not worthy of the love that I once had. In fact, most social pathologies are attributed to the fact that dad was nowhere to be found and the right kind of man was hard to locate. But also to my brother, it also goes back to your childhood. <clears throat> This is why it is so important for our fathers to be in the home. Now, this is a version of either A, his father was in the home, or B, his father was present but didn't pour into him as a father should. It is so important for our fathers to be in the home. And yes, it is true. A lot of our men are broken. A lot of our, our men carry stuff, carry things. Where's the voice? Men need a voice. Men need a place where they can vent. Men need a place where they can share their story share their brokenness, share their testimony, open up, be vulnerable without anyone judging them or saying they're weak, saying they're stupid. No, you need a place where a man can come be himself and share and it be all love. Hearing that, that is a lie that you're not worthy of the love that you once had, yeah. though, for yeah. sure. You know, that's that's a deep-seated. There's there's a thing there. There's a, it's a it's a, almost like a spiritual thing. There's a, there's something there, um, but it's a lie. I recognize that now. 
Yeah. I reckon I, I'm coming out of that now. But now it's time because I live in L.A. So, like, oh, so shit. So back to her. Uh, it's not just that easy. It sounds it's like not, it it's is. Not, it's not that easy, man. The way you just talked about it, and I hope she see this and wants you back. <laughs> I think, yo, love is tough, man. Love is tough to navigate. And I think that so many times we talk in, in definites. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a Gemini from Jersey who grew up in two households. My whole life has been split living in two worlds. Mm. So it's never just, nothing is ever just like one yeah. thing and that's yeah. it for me. Yeah. I got to I, I still don't know. Um, I have to challenge that. Um, uh oh, this is, oh, no. This is what I signed well, up for? Well, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 But, you know, I, I think that sometimes we, and I, and I don't know the exact situation and all that, right? Mm -hmm. But I've watched people leave relationships yeah. because they weren't ready or something wasn't right, but good people are really hard to find. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like how you talking right now. Like, you sound like it's impossible. Like, I live in L.A. I have this. I got that. You know what I mean? But it's like when you find someone who's worth it, you hold on with not just your arm, you with your legs. Like, you just hold in for dear yeah. life, right? Because yeah. there's something about people, right, that no matter what type of person it is and which relationship like some people are blessed to have great mothers and great fathers and great brothers and sisters and friendships and when you find a good partner it changes everything for you when god created marriage your happiness was not his first concern when you when you find a good partner it's that feeling that resonates in your in your in your heart down to your soul that you cannot explain it's almost like you want to be around that person you don't mind doing things for that person you you can be yourself and that person won't judge you you know what i'm saying and so i'm i don't want to believe that for you you know what i mean and i and but i, I trust that you know yourself and your yeah, situation you, you know what i'm saying but I, I i would hope that there's more belief on your side for for better because i mean like as as someone who's experienced a transformation right um and you're talking I was beyond broke. Like when I took, I didn't even know who was going on a date. She was like, hey, you want to go to Starbucks? I was like, for sure. I had $5 on a gift card, bro. Yeah. She, I said, what you want? She said, I want this and this. I said, make it a grande. Let me get that grande. You know I got a water. And that was it. Did you tell her you got a water? She watched me get the water. That's all I got. Because you, you know, know sometimes we go get the water and be put it in a cup. No, no, no. She won't know you cup broke. Was clear. Oh, you you saw the H two O in that joint. <laughs> you want you know let her know that she ain't had. But it wasn't you that. Know. Like when you find good people, yeah. who, it doesn't matter about how much money you make or whatever the situation is. Like it's yeah. you gotta hold on. You know, and so I don't know if that's worth it or worth pursuing or that. But man. I, I hope that you can make something like that work. Yeah. The, the portion about uh, nothing being just definitive, I can agree. You know, but I also know that, like, it, in my mind, it's all, it's, it's, it's limitless in either direction. Mm -hmm. Like, there is power in choice. There is power in definitive action. There is power in standing present and waiting. And there's power in learning what all 360 degrees look like, right? You may not live in every angle, but you will have observed several things. Men's mental health, men's spiritual relationship, men's growth, continue in all those areas. Men's personal life, continue to grow in all those areas. And please, 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 men, enjoy living your best life until then, one.